All right, so this is uh, an experiment I've been meaning to do for a while now. This is kind of the start of it. So what I have here is a 7992, a Mesa 7992, communicating smart serial to a uh, stumble drive. And that is running a small s a servo in, as a spindle. It's running in velocity mode. So, so what I have here is... I have RPM, so let me run this program. This is just the normal Penguin. Spindle's running at 2000 RPM. The, um, this is actually wattage being sent back from the stumble drive over the serial link, uh, which is real time. So it's running around 4 watts right now. Now this whole setup, I have a little, um, it's probably around, um, 15 watt power supply that's running this servo so I don't have much headroom so I kind of uh, am making this work within the bounds of this experiment um, so anyway so it's running around uh, 3 watts unloaded and then what I have this bar graph here is adaptive feed so adaptive feed in Linux CNC is a way to um, control the feed rate of the system. Um, and what I, I have, how I have this set up is this adaptive feed is the output of a PID loop that's comparing the set point, which I have set for 5.4, and this feedback of the current, the, the wattage of the um, spindle, the spindle. Um, so what you'll see here is if I start to load the spindle with my fingers, once it starts getting up to 5.4 watts, the feed stops or slows down depending on how well I control it. Um, and this kind of the hope is that the spindle would be able to catch up if it was being overloaded. Um, the, the PID loops tuned really loose right now mainly so you can see um, as I slowly add load and it approaches uh, 5.4 watts the adaptive feed lowers um, and I could all but stop I can stop it if I wanted to so I want to try this on real hardware soon I already have um, a stumble drive set up for my spindle on my uh, little green machine which is a 750 watt uh, brushless spindle motor. So that's my next experiment when I get to it. Uh, so it seems to be working well, and this is all this this is all a real time loop. The PID is all running within um, uh, the servo loop, which is one kilohertz. Actually, on this laptop, it's less than that because this laptop doesn't run real time very well, but it works for testing. So, uh, I hope to test this on real hardware soon. So, if I increase the set point, I'll increase it up to, let's say, 10 watts. So, now I can really load this down before it starts slowing the, spin, uh, slowing the, the actual tool path. And I'm actually starting to burn my fingers but so this is the the whole experiment uh, this looks promising now I just need to try it on uh, some actual real hardware that will close the loop where the spindle will load into whatever it's cutting and the feed rate will lower to keep the um, wattage consistent is the plan anyway so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope to have another video of it actually cutting something on real hardware soon. Uh, so, talk to you guys later.